in the, what, 12 years that I've owned this house, we've lost power maybe three or four times. And a lot of it has to do with our location. If we look this way, you can see, it, you know, mountains off in the distance there. But if you were to stand on those mountains, you'd see the same thing this way. I live in a valley and down there is the town and more so over that way. So we never have to deal with like really bad power outages or floods or anything like that. And when we do, I only lose power for maybe two, three hours at a time. And it, it's an annoying amount of time. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Because historically by the time I get the generator out and set up, the power just comes right back on. But that wasn't the case this time. Not at all. So some of you guys know that we were getting a hurricane here in Atlanta, Canada. I'm in Nova Scotia, Truro specifically. Uh, and Hurricane Fiona hit us hard. I think it was like a category two. A category two hurricane. Uh, I prepped, I got, um, I filled my bathtub, which is like a soaker tub, so tons of water I can store in there for drinking, washing, flushing the toilets, that sort of thing. Uh, got gas for the generator, uh, about eight hours worth. Um, and you know, the basic things, cleaned up the yard, hatched everything down, etc. And that was like during Friday. Today, as I film this, is Sunday afternoon. It's, it's like two o'clock right now here. And the video just went out. That was never supposed to be seen for like two or three weeks. It's the renovating the gallery type deal. Uh, I didn't want anybody to see it until I was like almost done because the end results are, are, are absolutely phenomenally mind blowing. Anyways, you guys know I also have Savannah cats. They took the plug out of the, uh, the bathtub. So I've been using 2000 gallon water to flush the toilet and do basics, uh, that sort of thing. But I do have a generator. I ran out of gas that night, the next, well not that night, the next morning, the generator wasn't running. And that's when we realized the devastation that this hurricane actually had. The entire province, for the most part, is out of power. My town is completely shut down. We're gonna have to deal with the generator noise right now. Uh, today's Sunday, this happened Friday night. So I've been without power since then and it, probably not gonna have power for another week or two. I'm gonna have to yell, but uh, we'll look at a few things. The pond is obviously destroyed and not that destroyed. I did put a tarp over it and it's mostly saved. Uh, these fell over, broke, that one broke. Massive tree over here. And there's, I mean, the shingles, everything all over the place. But this is a big, big tree that uh, fell out. It just snapped off. This tree is healthy, or at least it was. Um, it's one of my favorite trees, but then there used to be big trees back here that blocked the, the sun. If you can see back there, that one's fell over. And there's a bunch fall over through here. And one caved in the back of my... Uh, little my little shelter there for uh, like yard ma maintenance stuff and whatnot but a few shingles missing off of the roof I can get up there and fix that um, the damage out here maybe about a day or two of you know cleaning up fixing things and that sort of thing oh the gate Jeez. the gate I just built the gate I just built blown off the hinges uh, it's barely hanging there, so I don't know how I'm going to fix that because all the metal's broken and, and, and bent and that sort of thing. Uh, but in comparison to what happened in town and even what happened at the end of the street, power lines down everywhere, and trees are through houses, trees are falling on people's cars, um, and it's everywhere. It's not like isolated and you drive along and you see, oh no, a tree fell over. It's everywhere. I've never seen anything like this. Um, we are very lucky to have uh, not damaged the house. The gallery is fine. And you could hear the generator, that plugs into the, to the gallery and then I could turn everything on. We're just using the basics, the heat pump and aquarium pumps. We're not using wave makers, we're not drawing any power, any more power than we need. Uh, and then I ran an extension cord in the house to uh, power a couple things like lights and Wi-Fi and that sort of thing. Um, but on Friday we ran out of gas, or I'm sorry, Saturday morning we had no gas. So I had to go to, uh, to town to try to find gas. And that's when I saw how bad things are. You know, you're driving over power lines, entire poles, streets blocked off by trees and 
and, the, and it's just so devastating. I feel so bad for a lot of people in my community because we I do live in a relatively small town and I believe that it's a beautiful town, but what comes with beauty, a lot of times it's beautiful trees and greenery, but all of that is gone now. Um, I, I spent about eight hours trying to find gas. I found a gas station open about 35, 40 minutes from me and the lineup was insane. Uh, they ran out of gas hours later, but I was able to get about uh, 40 liters of gas. And um, the generator's not really designed to run 24 seven, so I'm running that on intervals. Uh, I'll wake up in the morning and start it, usually at six, seven o'clock in the morning, and I'll run it till about, around supper time. I'll shut it off for four hours, and then start it back up when it gets dark, and then it runs till the morning, and, I, and you gotta keep doing that. Um, My priority is keeping my family safe, clean, fed, uh, and of course, keep all fish alive. And I'm, be I'm successful so far. Again, there's no lights on in any of the tanks, so but we'll hopefully be able to see everybody. Asian Air One is fine, Oscars, Rays are fine. Um, per oh, shoot. Piranha are okay. Everybody's fine. Oh, you can't even see into there. I was worried about trees coming through this, trees falling on the gallery. Um, and I didn't know how bad it was until me and me, I, well, I was out here painting. I guess I could show you a few things. I was out here painting that night. Um, I got all the walls done here and the ceiling and the floor. It, it, I don't, I, and then I got all in here painted, uh, the walls and whatnot. And it's just looking beautiful. I got under that painted, um, repainted the stand. But you know, at this point, all of that has to come to a halt. Uh, and I gotta focus on maintaining the yard and uh, getting back to, I gotta cut that tree up. My chainsaw was destroyed in the, in the tent thing. So I gotta find another chainsaw, but it's not like anybody has a spare one. They're all using them. So I gotta try to buy one, but nothing's open. And when I do get one, you know, there's only a few in stock likely. So I, I and, I, and nothing's open right now. So when I go to buy a chainsaw, it probably won't be any to buy. Um, I wanted to um, continue to get stuff done out here, even though there's no power. I mean, I got, I got to keep going and keep busy. I mean, I can't just sit on the couch and twiddle my thumbs. I, I, I got to keep going. Oh, basketball. For those that follow me on Instagram, I was making stories all night and joking and laughing. And we were out here painting and Tamara got into her wine and she brought me home a six pack so we were just enjoying ourselves. And then I started hearing the big cracks and smashes and I'm like, that sounds like a tree. Like right across the street there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Let me adjust this. But you see right across the street and you see their line of bushes, there's a massive tree that fell on them. Down the road is way, way worse. Like buddy down there who's a friend of mine. Well, I want to go help him cut up his trees, but uh, he's got a big tree uh, resting on top of his Jeep right now and uh, other trees resting on his house. So that's a priority. Um, all fish are fine. All fish are alive. My main worry is power is probably not going to be back on for a week or two. Um, Nova Scotia Power is estimating it to be on in four days from now. But I can't see that happening. It's the, the damage is just too extreme and there's too much. I can understand if a few power lines were down, but let's, it seems like they're all down. And, it, and it's been, at least we have some nice weather and the, the wind has slowed down so the power companies can get up there. Um, but yeah, I wanted to keep things moving. And I was like, well, I can deal with no power. I'll just go buy some two by fours, start building up my walls, two by sixes, start building the sands. Things can keep moving. I have power out here. But uh, no, nothing's open and that's fine. I just really worry about all the other families that are way worse off than me. Um, you know, I do have friends that know that I have some power and they come over and charge their, their devices up, have some coffee, you know, use the bathroom properly. Um, I do have a method to take showers and stuff, but you gotta be maybe every couple of days take a shower because <laughs> there's not much fresh water. Um, but yeah. How am I going to survive? I'm not going to feed the fish the entire time the power's out. They'll, they'll be fine without eating for at least a week. Um, and since the power has to shut off for around eight hours a day, 
I don't need, whatever goes in must come out. So if I'm adding food to the tanks, they're just gonna create waste and pollute the tanks. Um, I do have a fridge here. So the house has no power, I'm just an extension cord. I do have a fridge here uh, and freezer. So we took everything that was in the fridge and freezer and put it in here. We were actually, uh, we just finished emptying the deep freeze, like eating everything in there. Cause if you have a deep freezer, that's where you like, you try to buy in bulk to save money. And um, we just finished eating all of that because a lot of it was like two and three years old. <laughs> we ate it anyway. Um, so we never had too much to freeze and the fridge stuff, I mean, mostly condiments, milk and that sort of thing is in there now. But uh, I hold all the cards now because the gallery is responsible for keeping the food and having Wi-Fi and powering everything. So the, the gallery is a pretty popular place right now for the first time ever. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, so this is what it looks like every day. Um, I just open the blinds let it naturally light it while I get a few things done. At nighttime, I'll turn the lights on, but I'm trying to use as little power as possible to keep the generator go going and not working that hard. But it is like a nine, nine or 10,000 watt generator that just plugs right into this building. Um, I'll show you what I do. Yeah, excuse my paint job. I gotta hate painting, and this is why. Um, there's a plug outside that the generator plugs into directly and when I'm not using it, this is all over there, but when I wanna switch this power to the generator, I flip it all over and the generator begins the power. I turned off, um, yeah, I don't need that off. Um, the heat pump is on, what is off? The, the water heater, I don't need the water heater in here because the house feeds that water heater and right now the house doesn't have power so there's no point in having that heater on which is like a 3000 watt heater continuously heating but everything else is on for now. Yeah, I got off lucky in terms of damage to the property. No fish are harmed, but there's a lot of damage outside. Oh, I didn't see that, the shed has a tree on it. Lovely. Um, yeah, the focus is just keeping the fish alive with bare minimum. Um, and uh, keep the family safe, clean, and fed. That's it. Uh, I won't probably be able to make many videos for a little bit, and that's fine. I'll probably be able to show you some things I'm working on, I guess, but um, I had to, I didn't want anybody to know about this because the downstairs is going to be insane when it's done. You guys know about it now, and you kind of have an idea what I'm doing, but you have no idea the end result. I'm not saying that, members only know. Um, but uh, out here, so the downstairs is going to be one. I'm building a speakeasy down there, but the entire basement is going to be mind blowing. And I don't even know if it would be considered a speakeasy, it's just a place to sit, chill. Maybe the podcast will be there, maybe not, but I, do, I am working on a new series where I'm gonna be building things on that 10 foot long table. It's gonna be absolutely phenomenal down there. The main gallery, I wanna turn it back into a gallery where you can sit and look and things are clear. But this is the only space I've had for the last five years and you know, doing projects and everything and moving things and do and trying to, to, to still make videos for you guys and, and it just gets really hard to do it in one space. And I was never really, I knew that the gallery lost sight a couple of years ago, um, you know, trying to do, trying to move forward and change things. I knew the public aquarium, so I was slowly going to transition to that, then that didn't happen, and then I'm screwed out here. And I got all these 180s, and the 120 racks are taken down, and all these other things have already happened to kind of prepare for the next step. I made a video about two years ago announcing the public aquarium gallery, but I never put it up. Um, just because at that time I was going through some things. I didn't want real, anybody to really know my next move, but but the gallery is gonna turn into a gallery, a place for me. The downstairs is going to turn into a place, it'll be functional, but it's also going to be like, for the average person to see it and be like, wow, this is what you can do in your house with, with fish tanks, and I, and I want it to be mind blowing that way. The gallery, of course, same idea, but I really want it to be a place where I can enjoy and do like personal projects, the aquaponics system I'm really excited about. 
I want to grow some lettuce and tomatoes and that sort of thing in the 375 on top of it, build up those walls. I don't, but then the new building's coming and that's where you guys will be probably most excited about because we're gonna put 120 aquariums in there, fully automated for the most part and uh, do a lot of breeding and a lot of cool things out there. But that will mostly be like do-it-yourself stuff. Obviously everything's do-it-yourself. I mean, I'm the one filming, I'm the one editing, I'm the one coming up with the ideas. I'm the one doing all the hands-on stuff all alone besides having to move a big tank, but I build and do everything alone. Um, but yeah, okay. The hurricane hit Atlanta, Canada. The aquarium gallery hit everything, but I'm okay for the most part and incredibly blessed because things could have been way worse. Anyways, that's it for today. It's really hard to, I began, oh, Tony, the, the longhorn cowfish in the house. I could power his tank, but the house is getting cold. Um, and the, uh, it needs a heater. It has a heater uh, and filter. It takes about 300 watts to run that tank. And I didn't want to use 300 watts. So I brought him in here. He's in there with the shrimp, the, the seahorses. Everybody's actually, there he is right here. Everybody's fine, but I figured why not bring him out here? I did that last night instead of trying to run extra, extra tanks. So I was still kind of consolidating things. He's here now. I got to build the other stand to hold the other 70. But this is this is where this one's probably going to be. I got to wrap it still and finish things. But there's Tamara's bamboo plant that lasted and survived, kind of. But um, yeah. I wish, I guess I would have been more prepared, but you never can be prepared enough, especially when historically things like this don't happen. That's one of the benefits of Canada is we don't have really earthquakes or hurricanes or anything bad. We just have extreme weather in terms of like, we'll have all four seasons and they're all pronounced. Like we, we can have a hot summer. Uh, we do have a heavy winter uh, and we're for the most part prepared for that. And obviously a lot of the times just make sure you have winter tires and that's kind of how you prepare for winter around here. But because we're so used to it. Um, what else is I gonna say? But yeah, never really prepare for this type of thing. And it's devastating. So I'm going to finish making this video. I'm pretty, I feel like I had more to talk about. So just, if you have any questions, put them in the um, comment section below or any anything, any advice, anything like that. Um, But yeah, bottom line, everybody's fine. Everybody's safe. Everybody's gonna be okay. I just don't think I'm gonna get power on Thursday. Right now, Sunday, Nova Scotia Power is saying we're gonna have it by Thursday night at 11 p.m. And I can't see that happening. Um, yesterday, they said it was gonna be by Wednesday and it just keeps pushing back a day and another day and another day, so. And, and there's like power lines still on the ground. Like they haven't even come close to coming up here yet. So I, I guess today, the goal today is Try to find a chainsaw and try to salvage as much as I can outside and that sort of thing. I guess the basketball net is bent, but it's not broken. But that's what I was doing on Instagram, like trying to make light of a bad situation. Um, I thought it was just going to be high winds and some water and, you know, rain, and but nope. Nope. As soon as I heard the cracking and the smashing, I was like, uh-oh, because we have some really tall trees out there. Look at this. What if... You see this big tree right here? Look, can't even see the top of it. There it is. What if this tree came this way, like fell towards me? It's long enough to hit the gallery. Um, those maple trees aren't that bad. But if, like I said, if you could see this, this big, this was a massive tree and it was one of Tamara's favorite because it went up in the middle of those two and it would block the sun in the afternoon so she could have some shade, but that's gone now. I always hated it and I wanted to, uh, you know, trim it so we did, so we could have more sun longer, but yeah. What a mess this is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's nothing to enjoy. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but I'll see you guys soon. Wish me luck.